Blue Lagoon is a world famous uh, spa in the Iceland near a geothermal power plant which has been the center of activity, volcanic activity, outside its boundaries recently in February 2024. It has a first class world cuisine and the hospitality that you can enjoy nowhere else like there. Of course, it comes at a cost. And if you have been to spas, you know that the spas are not cheap places. But this one is a world famous, world class. And you had a volcano outside of its boundary. People are actually wearing that uh, spa during the February 2024 eruption. They have to evacuate on time. And then when they left, some of them who made the video about their exit from that uh, Blue Lagoon spa, made their money back by making a viral video. What you see here is a artificial intelligence produced image. Nothing like uh, what they have shown, but represents what it may have looked like. Now we have information that a new access road for the Blue Lagoon is being built, constructed around, uh, so it is from a safer side, from the west side, approaching the Blue Lagoon, where you can enjoy again this kind of environment. But this has left the companies uh, who were active in the Grindavik unhappy about the treatment that they have received from their own authorities. Their town was far away from the sword Sengi when the first eruption happened in the December 2023. They were damaged, of course, by the earthquake, but no eruption there. And uh, But they had to evacuate the whole town. They could not return it. When the, uh, in January 2024, eruption happened at the vicinity of the town, the misfortune affected their livelihood again. The limited access that they have to their properties, to the companies, and the loss of money they are suffering. You know, this is a fishing town. Grindavik is a fishing town. And they have uh, lots of assets there being wasted. And they could not use it at the same time. They had to pay the debt for it. So they were not happy. But at the same time, they were not happy that the defenses around their town, which was evacuated, was built after the defenses for the private companies in the Sword Sengi and Blue Lagoon was built. So when the eruption happened, it was a, you know, uh, after afterthought job. When the earthquake happened first, we didn't have any need for it, probably, you can say. But when we felt that the second eruption is going to happen, that was needed. Sword Sengi and Blue Lagoon, in the first place, they built a berm or a lava defense around it. And these two companies were able to do that. And the ground itself was different in a way that all the earthquakes happening there and the uplift and the downfall of the land practically compacted the soil in that area. So there was not a chance that there was kind of a opening and gasping chasms in that area uh, happened in the Grindavik, happened there in the in the Sorsang and Blue Lagoon. Uh, practically, the town of the Grindavik is treated as if it's lost because it eventually will fall into the sea by erosion. But the Sorsang and the Blue Lagoon are treated differently. You may boil it down at the end of the day why the misfortunes are distributed differently between the Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon and Swartzengi.